All right, what is going on, everyone? W Drums here. We're back doing the uh, last path guide for the final Undead Trap Master. Probably one of my favorite shortcut. Cut to the chase. There he is. All right, so he's level six, unlike Lucky the last path guide where he was a little lower. So let's go to stats. So he's incredibly low in armor right now. So these stats are. I forgot stylish. to put on his hat actually. Um. We'll use the pot helmet that I just got from the Golden Queen level. So there we go. That'll even him out better. So there we go. Um, so yeah, he's pretty balanced overall. Uh, decent amount of skill points and stuff. Let's go to powers. So we've got Traptinium Scissors. Press Y to snip away with Traptinium Scissors. Phantom Puppets. Press A to summon puppet minions who attack enemies. Cutting Frenzy. Rapidly press Y to go into a cutting frenzy. Neither Needle. Press X to shoot a neither needle and pull enemies you hit in closer. No strings attached. Cut a puppet string with a Traptanium scissors to make it faster and more powerful. Cut through worlds. Hold Y and release to cut open a rift into another dimension. And the path guide I did this time was the Puppet Master, the bottom one. So much better. So we got go out with a bang. Phantom puppets explode before disappearing, damaging anything around them. Puppet population. Can summon more phantom puppets at a time and can also do extra damage. Paging Doctor Puppets. Phantom Puppets can heal you after damaging an enemy. And finally, the Soul Gem. Scissor Stilts. Hold Y and press B to walk on the Traptanium Scissors like stilts, damaging anything in your path. And now that I understand how to do the Soul Gem better, I do get it does a lot more damage. So thank you to all the commenters on the last path guide to help me realize that. So thank you. Um, so without further ado, I bring to you Shortcut. Chase. And who's going to be joining us on this fine evening? Hutsuko. Figure we can do undead and undead. There we go. So first thing serves. Here's my snip attack. Now if you click it rapidly, he goes into a frenzy mode where he just goes insane and just cuts you up. I love it. So there is that. Next, let's summon our puppet allies. So you gotta snip them before they fall down and then they'll turn like a dark purple and that shows they're actually increased. Now there's me cutting open the dimension. The dude still can't take a hit though, it's kind of frustrating. He's so good, but... Needs more uh, armor. I gave him the most I could give him at the moment. Until I get that hat from Nightmare Mode, I hear so much about. And not to mention, this is hard mode, which is frustrating too. I love you can just bring a chill bill and they'll like nothing. That's great. go down he goes Get ready for almost level seven and it's on the right path too so I'm not complaining at all so you gotta sniff them real fast it's hard to get all of them honestly when they summon you gotta be really quick on your feet with him so here is the uh, soul gem the stilts pretty powerful I love just bring that in, man. Just give me a hug, buddy. Boom. Nice. He's pretty beastly. 
I just love how you can pull enemies in with a thread, though. I think that's so playful. It's such a cool concept. Because it makes so much sense with what he is. Uh, essentially, he, I think he's a scarecrow. So it's just a very fun little way to kind of express that. I love that. It's really cool how they did that. Enemies are carrying my... Attack my minions. Now attack. And that dimension thing is just so epic. Like, I love the idea. It's so cool. Boom, baby. Uh. You always want to summon these minions, though, because that's the whole real, like, overpowered nature of him is he has all those minions to help. It's a lot like Sonic Boom, kind of, from the old, old Skylander games. One of my old favorites with her bird uh, babies. Ah, crap, run button. See, the cool thing is with those big uh, enemies, you can just shoot them with the thread because it's a distance attack and you can still win. It's pretty great. And you can just kind of plan that ahead of time and get the spirits to shoot them. There we go. So that was Shortcut on his Puppet Master path. Really like this one. It, it's a no-brainer. This is the best one. It's not even an opinion. Like, it, it's a fact. Like, there's no joke. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed uh, filming this. Hope you all enjoyed uh, watching it and learning about it and stuff. So just thanks for all the comments that helped me get this path guide even better than the last one. So, uh, have a good one, guys, and as always, God bless. Peace!